Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the Mexican Grand Prix here on my first season of F1 2017 career. And if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But unfortunately, I didn't record the practice session here. For some reason, uh, my practice footage wasn't recording. I don't really know why. So I apologize for that. So um, yeah, the I can't remember how we went. I think we went pretty well on the all the programs. Um, and got a good setup, but let's jump into qualifying. And as you can see here, it is a wet session, which um, wasn't what I was expecting. And we didn't really get off to a great start. We got shoved into the barrier here by, um, I think it was Perez behind us, straight off the bat. So as you can see here, I don't really know if it was my fault whether I came over too much, as you can see. Where is the Perez or Ocon? It might be Ocon, looking at that helmet. But, um, yeah, he just kind of like comes up the inside and I wasn't really expecting it. So I kind of apologize for that happening, but put him out of qualifying. But um, anyway, we soldiered on on the wet tires and I knew this was just going to be a case of putting in lap after lap after lap. So um, our first lap only put us in fourth position. Um, Vettel there flying with a 133. We are nowhere near that pace on these wet conditions. Um, coming around for the second time, and um doesn't look like we're actually going to improve we're actually down on our time here so um yeah that's not looking good normally in these wet sessions you can get faster and faster and faster as the session goes on and the more laps you put in lap number three coming over here we're going to improve by nearly five tenths of a second there to take us into a 136.4 and then this is later on on lap four hulkenberg i just, i don't know I kind of tried to get around him and he just seemed to break just as I was trying to pull out alongside him. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much the end of our session. It was just going so slowly, it caught me totally off guard. But let's check out The Grid with David Croft. Max Verstappen starts from pole position and P2 goes to Daniel Ricciardo. A strong showing from the Australian. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Grosjean, Sainz, Jolien Palmer and Raikkonen, Hamilton, Alonso, Van Dorn and Esteban Ocon, Ericsson, Vettel, a Haas and Bottas, Kvyat, Perez, Nico Hülkenberg and Pascal Wehrlein. Massa and Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, be wary of the cars ahead breaking suddenly into one. We could ruin our race if we hit them. Good luck. So despite the rubbish qualifying, we're actually going to start the race in 13th place. It's that time of the season where there are a lot of grid penalties. And from my experience and watching others, these last few races, the IAI takes so many grid penalties, it is absolutely insane. Anyway, let's jump onto the grid. The lights are on. It's five red lights. And away we go, quite short and a pretty nice getaway. We are pulling alongside Ericsson there and we are already into 11th place. Can we take Van Dorn? We can. We're heading towards the inside here. Van Alonso is not really giving us any spirit. I wanted to get down the inside, uh, so I go mount the grass a little bit just to get that extra position. Touch wheels there with Ocon, and um, as we go around him and Lewis Hamilton, I think that was. So Valtteri Bottas. No, it was Hamilton. The Mercedes is squabbling. Sorry, but uh, good start. We are up to um, P8 here on the opening lap, but I don't think we're doing quite there. We're going to have a nice little battle through this section with Ocon as we dive down the inside, try and leave him room because he's coming back at my inside and um, I go out wide and that leaves him the space to go around. But we're actually gonna try and hang it out around the outside here with Ocon as we head down to this uh, fast section here in the left-hander. But we let Ocon go, but um, he's had a bit of a sloppy time in here. It's, it's just, it was just so hard for me to position the car in a position where I could actually try and gain the place. But um, I did feel like I was a lot faster than the AI down in this section as we head down to the stadium section breaking at 100 meters dive dive it down the inside and that is p7 from estevan ocon so um is he going to come back at us no he's not so um that's going to be the end of the first lap a uh, nice battle there with um estevan ocon for the majority of the lap and um some nice gains six places gained on the opening lap of the race So let's take another look at the start here from the various points of view. 
Like I said, I wanted to get to the inside, and I was um, had the Ferrari right behind me here, but um, yeah, I was a bit wary. Alonso didn't look like he was going to give me any space. Bottas has actually followed me through as well here, and um, as we turn in, uh, we just bang wheels slightly with Ocon there, so um, yeah, there wasn't really a lot that we could have done there, but um, as we head down to the end of the sector here, we try and have a look down the inside of Ocon, but um, he's not having any of it as he comes back down to the inside of the following corner. And then this is this is quite a nice little battle here. We kind of leave each other enough space to try and hang it around the outside, but um, Ocon just gets that little bit better traction on the exit of the corner and manages to sweep in. So I took him behind him, knowing full well that I am a lot stronger. The Mercedes was all over the back of us here as well. I didn't realize how close the Mercedes was. I was too busy, obviously, um, concentrating what was going on in front of me. As we take the short back straight down towards the stadium section, late on the brakes, dive down the inside, cleanly through, and um, that is P7 from Esteban Ocon. So jumping on board here with Ocon, you see he's dealing with the Ferraris and the, the Mercedes at the side of him of Hamilton. We kind of come down the inside here, which gives us on the outside there. It didn't actually look like there was any contact there. So um, yeah, not really sure what was going on there um, from my point of view and why I thought there was any contact. But um, yeah, we're kind of in his slipstream here. We're going to put one down the inside late on the brakes. And um, I think there was the contact, a little bit of wheel bang in there, but I don't know, I just seem to lose a lot of time through that corner to the AI, I don't know why. And then around the outside we try and hang it, but he just gets better traction on the exit and is able to maintain the place into the fast corner section. And then as we head down once again to the stadium section, I bet you guys are sick of seeing this. We lay on the brakes, down the inside, give him the space, and um, that is the position done and dusted. Thank you very much, Esteban Ocon. On to lap three with DRS enabled, and Hamilton is all over the rear of me. Keep an eye on that name. It will appear a lot later on in the episode. But um, despite Hamilton being attacking us, we managed to make late on the brakes and dive one down the inside of Julian Palmer to move up into sixth position. So we take a look at that again on board from, well, not on board, from, from the TV replay. As you can see, I was so much under threat from Hamilton, but I found that the AI break really, really late here into turn one. So it was a good spot that I knew I would be confident on the brakes and be able to take one down the inside and take the place away from Jolian Palmer. As we get a little bit of oversteer on the exit, and this is on board with Hamilton, because Hamilton actually took the place from, oh, Palmer as well, as he turned into um, Hamilton there. Um, so well managed there, Hamilton, as the Brits battle it all out. On to lap five here, and we've still got Hamilton behind us, but we are now all around behind Carlos Sainz here as we head down to the stadium section. Not close enough here, though, to put one down the inside on there, but we are going to go late on the brakes round the tight hairpin, try and leave him some space, but we have got the position over him. And um, that is P5 now on lap 5 as we get a massive bout of oversteer, which doesn't help our exit whatsoever. And um, signs actually come back on me here as we head down the start-finish straight. We've got Hamilton all over us here as well. So it's going to be like three abreast as we head down to turn one, perhaps. But um, I'm feeling confident. I have the pace and just late on the brakes like I did against Palmer on lap 3. And um, that is P5. And now we can work on hunting down Grosjean, our teammate, uh, to try and gain some more places. That is another corner, though, that um, I'm always slow at compared to the IA. But Hamilton's not done here. He's going to try and mount a challenge around the outside. I position my car defensively in sort of like the middle of the track. And uh, Hamilton has got nowhere to go. So we retain fifth place as we head into the fast corner section of um, the Mexican track here. So let's look at that again. This is a three-way battle here. And despite the fact... Uh, actually, nobody had DRS here. Did nobody have DRS? No, Carlos Sainz and Hamilton both had DRS here. So I haven't got DRS. I've just literally got the rich fuel mix I think I turned it up to. But um, yeah, I, I was quite confident in the pace I had. I was able to keep alongside the cars, keep in front of them. And I knew going into turn one that I would be able to outbreak Carlos Sainz and take the position from him. 
And um, this is the following lap, and we are going to make our pit stop here. So all of our hard work there, battling with Hamilton and Sainz, and now we come into the pits ahead of them. I don't think either of them have made their stop. So um, this is going to be, hopefully, the undercut will work for us, and uh, we can retain the position as we go onto the super softs and head on out of the pits here. Where are we going to come out? We will come out now dead last. Dead last. Well, that wasn't expected. I was really hoping that uh, we would have done a little bit better than that. But um, obviously none of the cars behind me had pitted at this point. Maybe I came in a little bit early. I don't know. But um, anyway, it's time to knuckle down now and see whether or not we can um, make some positions. As you can see, a slow car here. As the engineer just said, this is Lance Stroll going very, very slowly here. He um, had some sort of issue. So that promoted us to P19. And um, as you can see, I'm quite uh, close to the cars ahead. But um, that actually brought out a virtual safety car, which neutralized the race, unfortunately. So um, I wasn't able to push and catch onto the back of the cars behind and try and make some inroads during this period. So um, I'm still working on the virtual safety cars. I feel like I lose a lot of time and I, I travel too far underneath the Delta. Uh, although here I'm actually over the Delta, so I probably shouldn't say that. But um, yeah, I am actually working on them as well as my race starts. I'm trying to be more competitive on the race starts. But here it is. The virtual safety car is coming to an end. And um, yeah, my outlap didn't really make the inroads and um, gains that I wanted it to. So that may actually cost us in our battle with the Mercedes as we um, come around the final corner here. Such a tricky corner to get right and get on the power early. As you see here, there's a whole group of cars in the pits as we um, come past them all here. We are ahead. And just we get ahead of Lewis Hamilton into 11th place. So um, that was close. If it wasn't for the virtual safety car, I think we could have been had a lot more comfortable gap over Hamilton. But uh, following lap here, as Pascal Verline heads into the pits, we get back into the points in P10. And um, Hamilton's not directly on my diffuser, but he is pretty close behind. But we've got the DRS here. And with others making pit stops, we regain our fifth position. So um, after everything is all shaken out, all the pit stops, we are back where we were at the beginning. Lap number 11 going on to lap 12. And Hamilton is all over me here. Um, I'm running pretty low on fuel as well. I've not got as much fuel to defend with as I would like. So I've got no rich fuel. Just try and go a bit defensive, push him towards the inside. Are we going to do a cutback here? We're a long way back. No, we're just going to break late, see if we can hang it around the outside of Hamilton. And we've got the inside for the next corner. And we do manage to hang it out, but he's got the inside. Man, so many position changes here. And um, Hamilton has taken fifth position. And now we have got Valtteri Bottas all over us behind here. So can we keep Bottas as bay as we head into this slow section here? Yes, we can. So um, we're going to have to try and um, have some good exits out of these corners and make some gains on Hamilton. As we look at the replay here of Hamilton into turn one, he pulls alongside and then pulls ahead of us. But I was just thinking, 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 can I go late on the brakes and around the outside, which I do manage to do temporarily. He was a bit slow into the corner, but... Um, been on the inside here gives him the inside for the following corner and the AI I find are quite mighty out of that corner I can't compete with them at all through there so I'm not surprised I lost the place back uh, coming to the end of lap 12 lap 13 here we are behind Hamilton once more we're gonna get DRS right here we've got Bottas right behind us as well so um, yeah we're just having to do this without rich fuel as well so Bottas is going to try and mount a charge alongside us here we're going to pull alongside Hamilton I mean a Mercedes sandwich late on the brakes again and we take the place from Hamilton up into P5 here with five laps to go. And we're going to have the DRS here to hopefully try and give us a bit of comfortable uh, space between the Mercedes. Because um, I don't really want to have to battle with them too hard at this point. But um, looking at it on board, sorry about the little jump there, with Hamilton. And he's got two cars either side of him. He just really, he couldn't go anywhere. He couldn't do anything at all. And then he defends from his teammate. He just manages to sort of pull across in front of Bottas just enough there as um, we now go on board with Bottas heading down to the next corner here Bottas mounts the charge down the inside and he takes the position initially but Hamilton's got the inside for the next corner which pushes Bottas slightly wide and Bottas just hasn't got the position to hang it around the outside he does try 
and take the position. And he actually does. He takes the position from Hamilton. So the squabbling Mercedes there has actually helped me out a little bit. It's um, it's actually given me a bit of breathing space. But we've got a safety car here for Roman Grosjean. He has unfortunately retired from the race. I say unfortunately, it's unfortunate for the team, but it's great news for me because that does promote me to P4. It's not actually a safety car, sorry, it's a virtual safety car, so we're just trying to maintain the pace, and I'm quite conscious, as I was saying earlier on, I, I feel I'm not very good under these conditions, and I'm quite conscious that I've got the two Mercedes behind me, um, so I need to kind of be right on the delta here just to make sure I don't lose too much pace and the Mercedes aren't on the back of me because I have a feeling that this virtual safety car is going to end as I get onto the start and finish straight which means it's going to put them in direct attack for that so I'm having to slow off here as we um, come over the start finish line to start lap 15 and the virtual safety car is about to end here with four laps to go in the Mexican Grand Prix so we've got Bottas behind me is he gaining on me not really. I can see him in the wing mirrors now, though. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. And Sebastian Vettel is now out of the race as well. Could we see another safety car, a virtual safety car? The Mercedes behind me seems to be squabbling. Bottas is all over me here. How I've managed to keep this position, I will never know. But, um, yeah, as we um, look at Roman Grosjean that caused the start of all that, he just literally stops and pulls off to the side of the road. I didn't actually see him as I went past him, which I'm quite surprised. Lap 16 here. We have got a three-tenths uh, three tenths gap over Valtteri Bottas. He's going to have the DRS here as we head down to turn one. It looks like we're only going to be challenged by Bottas as we duck back into the slipstream and late on the brakes. Can we head down the inside? Yes, we can. And I think we've actually positioned the car a lot better than when we had that, um, that, that duel there with Hamilton. We go out a little bit wide, but we've retained the place and... Thankfully, Bottas isn't all the way on the back of me here. As we take a look on board with Bottas, what happened there? Uh, he takes the place. We stay towards into the slipstream, take the inside line here, and take the place back from Bottas. And then Bottas comes under fire from Hamilton. Hamilton tries to take it down the inside. They are side by side, heading down to the next corner. Looks like Bottas has slightly got the edge over Hamilton here. But Hamilton's still determined to go down that outside. Can he pull it off like he did before? He does. There's contact between the two Mercedes. Oh my goodness, Toto Wolff is going to be absolutely livid. And Hamilton is trying to hang it around the outside here. Can he break later than Bottas? No, he can't. He can. He's still there. He's still... Oh my goodness, this is, this is intense. But he hangs it around the outside. There's a little bit of contact. Again, Bottas hits the rear of Hamilton's car. While all this squabbling is going on between these two guys, it's really helping me out, though, because I managed to, to get a bit of distance while they hold each other up. But um, there's more contact between the two cars. They're very, very slow here in the stadium. This is some really good battling, though, between the two teammates. Bottas is trying his hardest to regain the position. He's in the in, down the inside into the final corner, and he does stay ahead at this moment of Lewis Hamilton. But we switch to Lewis Hamilton as they come over. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. The star finish straight here. Hamilton is going to have the DRS here. Pulling alongside Valtteri Bottas. And as you see, I'm off in the distance. This has allowed me to open up quite a nice little gap between them. Hamilton takes the place and um, quite easily and takes fifth position. Oh my goodness, I am so out of breath. What an intense exchange and bit of racing there from the two Mercedes drivers. But... That allowed me to pull a gap, as you can see on the mini-map. I don't know what the delta was as we get it horribly wrong on the last lap here. We pulled over too um, early, but um, yeah, it really helped out seeing as I didn't have any uh, rich fuel available to me in this latter part of the race. But um, sorry, I thought I left Jeff. We, we lock up into the final corner, actually, so we got, we got a, a good job. We had that 1.5 second lead over the two Mercedes, put them right on the back of me. But um, Bottas has actually got ahead of Hamilton again. So, um, yeah, some intense battling between the two Mercedes guys. But we're going to come home over the line here in a solid P4 position. A good race for me today around the Mexico track, which I've never raced around before. So I was really, really happy with the result. So Ricardo takes the win with Max Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen finishing the podium. As we look at the standings, Lewis Hamilton is still leading with Valtteri Bottas in second. Kimi Räikkönen in third. We retain seventh place. 
and our teammate is still in 10th. Looking at the constructors, we are holding on to fourth position here. I think uh, we've got a good gap now to Force India with only two races to go. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Like I said, please like and subscribe if you're not already. I'll be back real soon with the Brazilian Grand Prix, but until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.